When it comes to what software you use, I'm probably one of the most liberal FOSS guys on the internet. I'm pretty much one of those guys that says just use whatever it is you want to use. While I think I would prefer it if everybody used open source and free software, I know that that's not feasible. That being said, there's one piece of software that I don't think you should use. And the biggest reason is is because there's many different great alternatives. So today I'm going to be talking about a new Linux password app called 1Password. Now this has been on Macintosh and Windows for a long time. And it was originally developed for Mac, it eventually went to Windows, and now there's a native Linux client. And for those people who use 1Password and have been using 1Password, this is great news. And I think that for those people who already do use it, it's fantastic that it's here. And I think that if it were any other situation, I would probably be celebrating the fact that there's yet another company that has brought their software to Linux. Because there's not nearly enough of those, and we should be very happy when a company decides to support Linux as well. But 1Password is an open source. And I think if there is one single piece of software that you use that absolutely has to be free and open source, it should be your password manager. And the reason why I say that is because there's nothing on your computer that is more important than your password manager. I truly believe that. You could lose your your images, all of the rest of your data, but if you lost access to your passwords, it would probably ruin your digital life. You'd lose access to your banking information, possibly your credit cards, your tax information, all the passwords to get into every single account. It would just be gone. So with that being the case, why would you trust a company with that information that wouldn't allow you to audit their code? I don't know the answer to that question. Now, I used to be a LastPass guy. I used to use LastPass. And I didn't used to feel this way, but now that I use something like Bitwarden, and there are several different open source password managers out there, you can use Bitwarden, you could use something like KeePass, you could use something like Pass. Literally, there's half a dozen really good alternatives that are free and open source that you could use. But I used to use BlastPass, and before then, before I started using free and open source password manager, I didn't really care. I just wanted to work well and work across platforms. And... Since that point, I've just come to realize how I think important it is that the password manager you use is open source. And one of the reasons why is has to do with cost. Now, I'm not one of those guys who thinks everything has to be free. I don't mind paying for things that are good, things that I want to support, things that I find useful. What I don't care for is things like GlassPass in terms of switch in terms of bait and switch. So they tend to change the prices a lot. They've changed them four or five times over the last 10 years. They were paid as a subscription service for all their good features, and then they went free, and then now they're back to being paid again. And, or they're, it's even more complicated than that. They're paid if you want to use your password manager on multiple devices. And that's LastPass. 1Password has actually done the same thing. 1Password used to be really expensive. You used to pay for the Mac client, which was you know a certain amount of money. I don't even remember what it was. And then you had to pay for the mobile client and stuff like that. And, and that was before they had a subscription service. And then they, now they have a subscription service. And now they have a free service. They changed things. That's the point. Because it's closed source and because you can't host it yourself, none of these things, they have all the power to take features away from you that you probably would need at any point. You don't have any say in it other than to leave, obviously. Add in between the whole security thing of not being able to audit the code. I mean, most people can't audit code anyways because they don't know how to code, but the ability to do so is there and other people can do so that do have that ability. So you, you're, if you're using 1Password, you're trusting that that code is secure and you have no way of verifying that. 
And then you have the whole control over how much it costs, what features you have, and all of that stuff plays into the fact that I just don't think you should use 1Password. So if you already use 1Password, go ahead and you continue to use it. Your data is there. I, I, I mean, I say go ahead and continue to use it, but I, if I were you, I would switch away from it to a Bitwarden or something like that. But if you're using it, at least it does have a Linux client now. But if you're looking for a password manager, don't select 1Password because it's closed source. You don't want to go through and use that. Use Bitwarden instead. Use KeePass XC instead or whatever it is. I mean, there's several different versions of KeePass that are available for you. To choose which one's the best for you. Uh, Pass is available if you want to, if you're more of a nerd and want to manage your passwords purely in the command line. Uh, you know, you can host your own Bitwarden thing. Whatever you want to do, just choose one that's open source. I think that, that is truly the best way to do it. And while I think it's great that 1Password is here for those who absolutely, absolutely have to use it, I know a lot of companies use it, so that it's on Linux now is probably a good thing overall. It's a net good. I still think that if you're going to use a password manager, use one that's free and open source. So that's my little rant for the day. Thanks for watching. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast, Facebook at LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Meglin, Donnie, Sven, Merrick, Camp, and Mitchell. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.